Yo, so we are fully locked in in this draft season. This is my time of the year. This is the reason for the season. This is team building time. Y'all know me, man. Foots, um, Foots is tied to the draft. This what this channel was 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 started on. Never forget when we drafted Dak Prescott. I was all over it. Um, and I'm still happy he's our quarterback, guys. I know people may make me out to be a Dak hater, but I'm not. The Senior Bowl. I think this year, more than ever, the Senior Bowl is going to trump a lot of things because guess what? That's all that these scouts have to go on. You see what I'm saying? So I wanted to do this. I wanted to do this three-round mocker. Um, and I love mocks. Me and Vosh get into it all the time about mocks. But I wanted to do this three-round mocker because guess what? It's just an exercise to get people thinking outside the box. So that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to waste a lot of time because really and truthfully, I feel like I knocked this draft out the park. Like, I'll be honest with you. Dun -dun 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 -dun. What? Foots? You going back to the well? Yes, I'm going back to the well. Rashawn Slater. Let's get Rashawn Slater drafted. Here's the thing. He's better than the corners. Okay. Um, and I know he's better. There's not a lot of questions. If you caught this show with me and Sky Still yesterday, with some of these guys I just have questions about, I'll be honest, Slater checks off all the boxes, and really, the more that I watch film, the more, you know, you, you just wake up and you say, oh, I, I just want to... I want to see, okay, how's his play strength really? What, what? Let me see when he does get beat. And, I'm, and I'll just be honest with you. Really comparing him to, to Sewell, I think he's better. And I'll tell you what, Vach does too, and Vach is O-line guy. And so I don't know how many of you guys out there do, but it's we got to we gotta now think about Tyron Smith. We got to think of the future. And if Tyron Smith is good, you put him at guard and you play football. Like, it's not one of these things to where we have to overthink the situation. You need a good offensive line. Because guess what? You have a quarterback coming off a horrific injury. You have a quarterback who, let's be quite frank, plays best when everything around him is really, really good. So I want the line to be really, really good. I know we need defense. I know our defense wasn't great. But if I have a, 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 a true five-star, and not a five-star in the sense that he's going into high school, but a five-star in the sense is he's coming to the league where he's plug, play, you just forget about him, then that's what I'm going to do. You get what I'm saying? A Big Ten offensive lineman that, that has his ability, I can't pass that up, guys. Sorry. Okay. Da -na -na -na, da -na 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 -na. Richie Grant. Nobody in the draft scene and draft circles helped themselves more than Richie Grant. And I'll tell you what. Compete. That's what the scene, like Phil Savage and those guys have the senior bowl locked in. Here we go with being able and getting questions answered. Richie Grant answered a lot of questions for me, guys. He really, really did. I spoke about Grant and on the show, one of the things, because I've been on him. You see what I'm saying? Like I've been on Grant. That's not one of these things. You can go find it, cut ups, all that. But here's the deal. I wanted to see how he played on the roof. Um, and, and, and Cowboys draft community, that's my, that's my, they, they made that my claim to fame on the roof. Cause I'm safety, man. I love safeties, man. I love digging into safeties. And how does he play on the roof? How does he play in space? And does the tape match basically where, where I have him projected? Check, 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 and more check. I'll be honest. There's a chance we may not even get him. Like I'm praying that some of these safeties have great agents. <laughs> I'm praying that some of these safeties have great uh, workouts so that he can fall. You see what I'm saying? Because at pick 42, it may be hard to get Jabril Cox. I mean, excuse me, not, oh, dang it. I didn't, I didn't tease my next pick. Darn it. It may be hard to get Richie Grant. Um, but nonetheless, I think that he just killed it. He tackles well. Like tackling was never an issue with him ever. It was, I needed to know, can he can he run? Can he turn? And he checked those boxes off like even better than the tackling boxes. And he's a great tackler. So he could have a Darnell Savage type rise. And he answered that. This is my safety. OK, here we go, guys. Jabril Cox. Um, I, I got I went kind of carried away. I got kind of carried away. Dang it. I, I, I get so excited about the draft. Y'all. I really, really do. Da -na -na -na, da -na -na -na. 37 tackles last year. You might you guys might hear the pages uh, turning. 
Let me get my notes. Pick 74, Jabril Cox. Listen, was a transfer from North Dakota State just a really good football player? You can go find clips of Ed Orgeron talking about the player. Speed is what he, – he's a fast player, man, and his size really showed up on tape. Um, can turn, can run. I wish he would have been able to play on a better team, but, you know, because that LSU team this year just wasn't that great. But you know what? That's all good because you had questions about – how would he fit in coming from a North Dakota State to a SEC school? You can hear Ed Orgeron say it. He's an SEC player. He started this year. Um, and coming from that mode of where I'm pretty sure Patrick Queen and, and, and Devin White are always in the building. Not always in the building, but that's who you're going to be compared to if you're a linebacker at LSU. And guess what? He plays just like those guys. He fits in a 4-3. He could be a weak. He could be a strong. Uh, the, the, the length is what I'm really intrigued about, and he doesn't lose anything. Like, he's not a lumbering player. I look at him as like a poor man's – well, I don't want to draw too many conclusions, but – I mean, uh, too many uh, comps. But the point of man – okay, I'll just say it. A poor man's Tremaine Edmonds. And, and that's just because of the length. Like, he's a true 6'4", uh, and, and, he's, and, he's, and he's a true 231, so he's not – you know, a super bulky dude, but he can really make plays in space. So that's my guy, uh, Jabril Cox. Here we go. Foots, what are you doing? Why would you ever draft a receiver? We need corner. We need defensive tackle. We need, ah, I don't care. When you get to this part of the draft and you have one of these receivers that really balled out in the senior bowl, Shai Smith, um, Felton, uh, you know, the list goes on because this is another really deep receiver class. Man, take one. Don't reach on a guy that if you can help your team in free agency, do that. But if you can get because I look at I look at listen, I look at Shai Smith as a true slot. I look at a player that can help us in the return game. And if you watch his film, even though he's 5'10", Dog, he goes and gets the football, like ball mine. And, you know, just like with Debo Samuels, man, I just like those those South Carolina receivers, man. Like they they're really they're really aggressive at the point of attack. And he's good after the catch. And he showed that this week. You know, it wasn't just the one on one stuff, man. He I really like Shy Smith. Like he grew on me. I'm like, yo. I watched film on him, but I wasn't hip to his explosiveness. Like, he's a very explosive player. No, he's not big. He has some of that Steve Smith in him, though, with his with his build, with his play strength. Okay? Foots, why would you go get a receiver? Listen, I don't know what the future holds. And, you can ne- and Mike McCarthy has shown you that he's going to take a receiver in those middle rounds. So you can never have enough good playmakers on the field. And that's what I'm trying to get this team, good playmakers. And that's what this guy is, a great playmaker. So Shai Smith was my pick at uh, 99. So just recapping, at 10, I went Rashawn Slater, uh, 42, Richie Grant, 74, Jabril Cox, and 99, Shai Smith. Here's the deal, y'all. Uh, I like this draft because I I got good football players, and that's going to be my goal. I'm not going to reach on need. I'm just going to let that stuff work itself out, whether it's guys on the team stepping up, whether it's player development, whatever the case may be, free agency, however you want. But when it comes to the draft and best available and how I project these rounds kind of going, and like like I said, with receivers just, just sitting around because of how many good receivers there are at the top of the draft, This is what I did. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're going to comment, no negativity. Come with some positive comments, y'all. If you're going to comment, just just leave your thoughts. But, you know, don't go crazy with all the, ah, this is a terrible draft. Listen, it could be terrible to you. It could be great to somebody else. It's my mock draft. It's my thoughts. I'm not going to Mel Kuyper you guys to death and keep drafting Patrick Sertain. That's not what I'm going to do. It's called thinking outside of the box for a reason. It's an exercise, okay, guys? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop some money in the Cash App. If you're supporting the content, helps a lot, man. Continue to like, share, follow me on Twitter. Hit me up on Twitter, IG. You guys know I'll respond. It's your boy Foots. Hey, 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 hey.